Understanding your customer journey is actually pretty easy when you're using Google Analytics, but only if you are properly setting up Google Analytics. And today we're gonna to talk about how to do that when it comes to recording your traffic sources using something called UTMs. In this video, we're gonna give you a breakdown of a powerful tool called UTMs, all so that you can start to know the story of where your users are coming from. Plus, be sure to stick around till the end of this because I'm gonna give you a very simple way that you can actually test these UTMs to make sure they are working before you put them out live. What are we even talking about when it comes to these UTM things? Marketers use UTMs to help them figure out where traffic is coming from, how people are finding them and coming to their website. UTMs are just little tiny bits of parameters and they're added to the end of URL. And they'll say things like UTM underscore source equals newsletter. Or anything that says UTM underscore, whether it's source, medium, campaign, and there's a couple of others, those are those parameters that that marketing team or that company added so they knew that you opened their email and that's how you came to their website. Let's dive into Google Analytics and take a look and see how Google Analytics actually handles traffic right now and what UTMs look like when they're there. When you first come into Google Analytics, you're gonna be in your home screen. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at where all those traffic reports are. And for that, we're going to come down to where it says acquisition. Then we're going to go into where it says all traffic. And then we're going to take a look at a report called the source medium report. Google Analytics primarily cares about three things when it's trying to figure out where traffic is coming from. The first is what it calls the source. And you can think about this as the brand name of the traffic source. The second thing that it wants to figure out is what is the type of traffic coming from that source. That's something that Google Analytics calls the medium. Google Analytics does its best to let you know where traffic is coming from by identifying three types of traffic on its own. The first is this organic traffic. So all organic traffic means is that it's coming from a search engine. In this case, it identifies that it's coming from Google. But if you look down here at number nine, we see Bing organic. So I know as a marketer that users are finding me coming in from Google and from Bing doing searches. The next type of traffic that you'll see Google Analytics do on its own is way down here. You'll see what says referral. Google Analytics is telling you they came from some other website, in this case, Facebook. And the third type of traffic that Google will identify for you is the, I'm not sure how they got here, they just showed up. And that's where it says none. And you will always see this as direct none. That might mean that people are coming directly to the site. And in our case, this is exactly what happens most of the time. So now we have an understanding of the source medium report. You will have organic traffic, you will have direct none traffic, and you will have that referral type of traffic but you're not probably going to see email. You're probably not uh, going to see podcast traffic. And the reason that you're not is because you haven't used UTMs to identify that type of traffic. There is one other report that I want you to take a look at. Because remember, we talked about three things that Google Analytics actually uses when it comes to figuring out traffic sources. It needs to know the source, it needs to know the medium, and it needs to know the purpose of the traffic. And that's something called the campaign. And there is a report that is specifically built just to show you how that traffic is actually working together. When you come into your campaigns report, one of two things are probably going to be there. First is there is nothing there. And that's okay, because that just means you haven't used UTMs yet and you're just starting out. The second thing is you might see a lot of stuff back there. It just means that your campaign naming conventions have been a little fractured. And I'm going to give you some tips on how you can fix that going forward as well. We're going to go to where it says campaigns. We go to all campaigns. And what you see here is basically our campaigns from measurementmarketing.io. In our case, one of our primary campaigns is called WIN. WIN stands for what I need. And internally, as a company, we've decided that everything is the WIN campaign. So we've told Google Analytics, WIN is the point of this traffic. I'm going to click into there. Here is every single source and every single medium. So we can start seeing all of our UTMs here. So I can see in this case that these e-commerce unmasked emails came through. I see emails from Infusionsoft, our system. I see affiliate traffic where our partners are using Infusionsoft to send traffic to us. There's Social Media Examiner, the podcast traffic coming through. I see Facebook paid traffic. I see YouTube traffic. And this is, says share 
because we're not paying for YouTube traffic. This is from the links that we've put inside YouTube in our descriptions. So we know which videos people are seeing and coming through to our site. Here's another podcast we've done with Conversion Sciences, yet another podcast we've done with Build It Online. And we've also got LinkedIn paid traffic that we were just starting in the early days of experimenting with. So we've got LinkedIn paid traffic. And finally, we've got this MMIOWW, which for us lets us know that this is some of the resources that we have produced at measurementmarketing.io and people are clicking on links that are in those resources coming back to our site. I know all the different traffic sources, the types of traffic coming from those sources and how they are working together to get somebody to move through the customer journey so they ultimately purchase a win course from us. Now, how did we do that? We're using UTMs and you can do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna show you actually a couple of ways to set this up. The first is using our friend Google. We're going to Google something called the URL Builder. And the very first thing that comes up is this campaign URL builder. That's what we're going to click on. This is just a tool that Google's provided to help us figure out UTMs. We're going to pretend for the sake of this video that we're sending an ad from Facebook. We want to know if our ad is working. First thing is we have to tell Google, okay, what is the page that we're trying to send them to? So we're going to send them in this case, I'm going to send them to our home site, our home page. So we're going to do measurementmarketing.io. It now needs to know what is the campaign source? That is, what is the brand name of the traffic source? In this example, we're saying Facebook. What is the type of traffic? So in this case, CPC stands for cost per click. And then what's the point of this traffic? Well, really that's for the wins. So we want people to go and purchase our win courses. So we're going to type in win. Now you also have this campaign term and content. You can skip those from now. They're optional. Once you learn the basics, then you can start adding in some other ones. Now what you've seen down here at the very bottom is Google has been silently creating a little link for us to use. This is the URL, the website. Here's the source, which is Facebook, the medium, which is CPC, and then UTM campaign which is win. All we're going to do is copy this URL and then we're going to open up a new tab in the browser because we want to test it and make sure it's working. We load up the page. Now, what am I looking for here? From a user's perspective, everything should look identical. And now that our page is perfectly loaded, just copy this part out and give it to Facebook when it'll do all the rest of the work for you. If you're setting this up for email or other types of platforms, sometimes you'll just copy and paste the entire link in with UTMs. Other types of email services maybe also have a little space for UTMs. So it's a little different based upon each platform, but it's pretty easy to do it because most platforms also know what UTMs are and they're expecting you to be able to use them. Now, I'm going to show you one additional thing that you should really do when you're doing testing. And that is to make sure that the UTM is showing up in Google Analytics the way that you want it to. We're first going to go into Google Analytics and the reports that we're going to look at are something called real time reports. So we're going to click where it says real time underneath there. What are we testing? Well, we're testing UTMs, which are traffic sources. And then right away we see Facebook CPC. Well, if I go back to our site, you can see there's the source of Facebook and the medium of CPC. So we know our UTMs are being seen by Google Analytics and it's being recorded by Google Analytics. And now that we have that confirmed, we are officially ready to put that link out into the world. Now, I want to show you one additional way to do UTMs because you don't always have to have this URL builder. This is a helpful tool if you're just starting out, but you could just as easily change them and create them on your own. All you would need to do is in the URL browser, when you have this format set up, just change them. I'm gonna do a little email example for you. So we would say Infusionsoft, the type of traffic is now email and the campaign is the same. And this is important because if you go into your campaigns report and you see a million different campaigns and they all have one source and one medium, this is why. It's because you're doing different campaigns for all of your UTMs and you shouldn't do that. You should coordinate them together. And that way Google Analytics starts recording them in a way where it makes it really easy to figure out how's the win campaign doing. Do we see Infusionsoft email now as my source mediums? Look at that. So now we've got Infusionsoft email that's showing up. And while we were actually talking, somebody came in from Google and they uh, came in from a search engine. This link is ready to go out into the wild. In this case, all I'm going to do is hyperlink it to whatever email that I'm sending out. And anybody that clicks on that link will then come to the homepage. I'm going to know they came from the homepage from our email system. And that's officially how you use UTMs with Google Analytics. Now you may be wondering, okay, I have hundreds and thousands of links. Do I really have to type them all into this form to get UTMs to work? And the answer is no, you do not. There are lots of different tools and options. We actually talk more about that here in this video over at measuremarketing.io's YouTube channel. Or if you want to continue to figure out what's working and what's not in your own customer journey, just go ahead and click on the playlist right here. Either way, I will see you on the next video.